Hello and welcome back to English 201 course. In this week's tutorial, you will be learning about the concepts of unity, coherence, and cohesion. This tutorial is divided into two parts. Part 1 about unity and part 2 about cohesive devices. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand the concept of unity, identify irrelevant sentences in a paragraph or an essay, and write relevant ideas and supporting details in your essays. What is unity and what makes a paragraph unified? To begin with, let's look at this burger. I hope you like burgers. A burger is made of the upper part of a bun, the ingredients, and the lower part of the bun. This is our paragraph. This is the topic sentence, the supporting details, and the concluding sentence. Just like we cannot hold a burger without having the buns or the ingredients, a paragraph cannot be complete without the topic sentence, the supporting details, and the concluding sentence. I have another question for you. Could we have pasta inside burgers? No. What about oranges? I guess not. What about some coffee burger? Mm, no. Similarly, in a paragraph, we have a topic sentence which includes the main idea, that is, the topic plus the controlling idea. Then we have the supporting details. They might be two, three, four, or more. And we end the paragraph with the concluding sentence. All of these ideas inside the paragraph are actually related to the controlling idea and the main idea and the topic sentence. In addition, the concluding sentence should also be related to the topic sentence. Just like we cannot have pasta, oranges, or coffee in a burger, we cannot have irrelevant, that is, unrelated sentences or ideas in a paragraph. And this is what makes a paragraph unified. Therefore, a unified paragraph focuses on one main idea only, that is, every supporting detail directly explains or proves the main idea. Hence, it does not mention ideas that are irrelevant, not related to the controlling idea in the topic sentence. Let's do some practice. Examine the following paragraph. Let's read it together. This paragraph has a sentence that affects the paragraph's unity. What is this sentence? Let's find out together. This is a paragraph from an essay that discusses the bad influence of watching TV on children. Finally, watching the television may affect children's schoolwork in other ways. The topic here is watching TV. The controlling idea is children's schoolwork. Let's look at the supporting details. If they spend too much time watching television, they may get behind in their homework. The ideas here are related to the topic and the controlling idea. Therefore, this sentence is related, relevant to the topic sentence. Also, if they stay up to watch a, mo a late movie, they may fall asleep in class the next day. This supporting detail also has ideas related to the topic sentence. Using mobile phones has the same effect. Notice here that we do not have any idea related to the topic. The topic is about TV, while this sentence is about using mobile phones. Finally, let's look at the concluding sentence. Consequently, they will not learn their lessons and they could even fail in school. We have ideas related to the controlling idea. Therefore, this sentence is the sentence that is not related to the main idea. And this is the sentence that affects the paragraph's unity. This sentence is not about watching TV, therefore it is off topic. Now it's your turn to practice. Read the following paragraph carefully. Find the sentence that should be deleted in the interest of paragraph unity. Pause this video and try to figure out what the topic and controlling idea of this paragraph are and then choose the sentence that is not related to the main idea. So therefore, it affects the paragraph's unity. As you have read 
The paragraph is about drug abuse and peer pressure being one of the main causes of drug abuse. The sentence, teenagers who drink heavily also put their physical and mental health in danger, is not related to the topic at all. This is about drinking heavily while our topic sentence is about peer pressure and drug abuse. This is it. The concept of unity is pretty simple. For extra information, you may refer to your book and to the YouTube link I will be sharing in the second part of this tutorial. For now, please tune in to the second part about cohesive devices to understand the concepts of coherence and cohesion. Thank you.